The second child might be the nightmare child, for all we know. No, it I... might be you. <laughs> this one was crazy. Y'all know she's crazy. Calm down with that, alright? Hold on. Don't yell. It's just sleeping. Put your little finger away. Don't yell. Put your little finger away. Put your finger on this. <laughs> hey, everyone. It's your favorite drama queen, Vera. And today, I'm going to be using the Peter Cramp Simulator on Tato. But he has no idea, guys. He thinks that we're going to do a video where I give him reasons why I want to have another baby. But little does he know that I have a surprise for him. And this came right on time because, guys, after two years of not having a period, two amazing years, two formidable years, two wonderful years, Mother Nature is back. <laughs> she came back for me, guys. So as I speak to you guys, I am currently on my period. I am cramping. And every month, Tato decides not to crack my eggs. Guess what, guys? I have to go through this pain. So today, he's gonna go through this pain with me. Let's go and do this! A few moments later. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to our channel. This is Tato and Vera. And today, I'm gonna give my husband reasons why we should have another baby. These better be really good reasons. Yeah, I actually wrote them on my iPad, so... So that makes some good reasons? <laughs> No, that means I came prepared. Okay, all right, okay. cool. Does you guys like my new case? Yeah, of course they like your new case. It's coach. And I got a pen. Actually, I got this pen because I started classes and I don't want to use notebooks, so I can use my iPad to take notes. Yeah, actually, she's been using this thing and it's been really, really cute the way she's just like writing in there. Like she's got like a real notepad. Like I'm like, she's never had a notepad before, but all of a sudden now she's got a pen. She's like, I'm going to write in my iPad. Anyways, reason number one. Okay, let's go. We have a bigger home. Yes, we do have a bigger home. But that's kind of like a oversimplification. Why? Like we, we got this bigger home because we need to give Enzo his own room. Yes. So we got three rooms. But if we have another baby, that baby doesn't have its own room to go to. But you asked me what's the reason why I wanted to have another baby. And this is one of the good reasons because we have space. If I was in the other apartment, I wouldn't even think about having another baby. No, no, no. Don't give me that boat crap because when we were in the other apartment, you were talking about having another baby. Okay, before we even thought about leaving. Well, what I'm saying is that that's my reason and that's my right. Next. <laughs> my period is back. Eggs are flowing and ready to be cracked. What, is this like a breakfast sandwich? No, that is a fertile murder. That's what my OBG told me. Oh gosh, me. not this fertile murder crap again. That's what my OBG told me. Baby, just because you fertile, just because you feel like your body's ready to hatch because you, your internal organs and woman stuff, doesn't mean we actually have to have a baby. And look, just because you got your period, it means that that's not an excuse. No, what my period means is that, hey, listen buddy, this egg is about to come out. Are you about to fertilize them or what? No, 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 no. We can't get rid of that period just to have a baby. I'm not saying I'm getting rid of the period just to have a baby. I want to have another baby, and you putting a baby in me is going to help me not have my period because my periods are really, really painful because I have endometriosis. You could also go through menopause, and then you won't have a period no more. And then I won't have another baby. But that's another solution. These are reasons why I want to have another baby. Because you have a period, and you hate the pain that you have during no, a period. No, because my eggs are flowing and ready to be cracked. We ain't making breakfast here, okay? This ain't an omelet. Okay, next reason. This lady. These genes need to be multiplied. Like, look at me. Look at me. Look at this beautiful woman, yeah, African you, you lady. Look at her, baby. Sexy. Look at this plump lips, these big, beautiful eyes. Look at this tall stallion right here, this big man, tall Dominican. Suave men. Is this suave men? Suave men. Suave men. Besame. We need more of you in this world. You have enough of me, okay? I'm a one and only. And we put all of our eggs inside of him, okay? We got a perfect child. Yes. Why do we want to keep trying to multiply? So if we got it right on the first child, want... why are we going to taint the no. possible? The second child might be the nightmare child, for all we know. No. It might be you. <laughs> I'm a nightmare. You can be. <laughs> this way. So Enzo has your, your temperament on mine. He definitely has your temperament. Exactly, and he's not a nightmare. Next. <laughs> we have so much love to give. You're a great dad. I'm a fantastic mom. You know what? I like that. I like that. You're we right. have so much fun together. You are a fantastic mother. But see, I have to divert again. Mm -hmm. Because maybe us being great parents is because this is a perfect combination. You know, we have enough time to be there for him. We still have enough time to be there for ourselves. We still have enough time to be there for each other. And sleep. You want to mess that all up with just putting in another kid? We got to make sure the time is right. Make sure our mind is right, our house is right, our money's right. Quick 
coffee sticking to you. Better give me another child. My coffee sticking? Yes. Did you hear Al Pacino just had a baby? He's seven years old. I don't care. I don't care. So I can go all the way up and tell them like your, decrepit. Your clock is sticking. Your clock is sticking. Not your, mine. Your clock is sticking. <laughs> do, 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 your clock do, is sticking. Do, do. Enzo is adorable. We yes. did that. We should do it again. I literally just said that we were perfect on him. Why do we need to do another one? Because I just love procreating. Listen, listen. When I was in college, one of my teachers told me about how he loves all his children, but literally one of those kids is the bad kid. They're I don't jail. care. What does so he like, He's adorable. Does, he, doesn't, doesn't he make you want to have another one? Let's be sure. From just looking at him? No, just like being a parent to him, like. But seeing him how, makes how you, me want to hang out with him he's, more. He's the best part of what it he does. Does. I don't want to take my time away from him and create another child. I want to spend all the time I can with him. That's my reason. Next. <laughs> and so told me that he wants a sibling. Like that's, oh, you, God. Like, how can I say no to that? You know, I really love to spoil Enzo, and he really wants a sibling. Enzo wants a sibling. And what makes you think a sibling is the right answer? First of all, I mean, he he's, he's already almost uh, a year and a half. If we were to get pregnant right now, that baby ain't going to be born until he's two and a half years old. And if by the right time now. that baby could even interact with him and have fun with him, he's going to be going to, uh, what is it, elementary school. Well, how you know I'm not going to be pregnant? Because tell them what happened last night. Oh, last night, I was oh. busting loads. <laughs> That. You just told me to tell them. No, I was just joking. Those I was like, pop goes a weasel. <laughs> Anyways, it's fine. It's fine. Because you, you know that nothing's going to happen, right? She's trying her hardest, guys. I'm not trying nothing. You... I was trying my hardest last <laughs> night not to make one. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, so those, those are my reasons. Those are your reasons? Yeah. They ain't good enough reasons. Really? We already got a son. We don't need to go ahead and multiply and make more children. Oh, are you afraid that we're going to have a girl? That's what you're afraid of. Now, now if we, uh, I'll be honest, guys. I thought our first child was going to be a girl. Really? And I was okay with that. I was probably, because I was going to be the best dad in the world. I was going to protect this little girl. I was going to give her all the safety she oh. needs. You know, I was going to divert my strength to her and not you anymore, because she needed it. You were good. What was wrong with you? Nothing. But you're lucky we had a boy, so now I can still be there for you. Anyways, the next reason why it's not written here is just something I just thought about. Guys, I'm currently taking classes now and all the load has been going on tattoo because my class is like three hours every day. You it's know, tough because I'm working from nine to five. By the way, guys, tattoo, I make tattoo, dinner, has, tattoo has a nine I to five. I put little man to let me, sleep. Let me finish. I clean I just his want body. To, I want, what else would you clean? <laughs> I, want I to, clean the dishes. I, want to I get the entire house I want to done. emphasize. Dude, I'm trying to gas you up and you keep talking over me. What's wrong with you? I'm, I'm not guessing you up no more. Gas me up. Gas me up. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that Tato has a 9 to 5, like an office job, yeah. plus content creation that he does with me. Yeah. So he's doing all that, watching Enzo, cooking, giving him a bath, and I'm taking my classes. So that makes me even want to have another kid with him because he's such a good dad. She wants to make me even more tired. That's the moral <laughs> of her story. So why, why are you being a good dad? It's your fault. It's your fault that you're a good man. Now when I'm not trying. Listen, my son deserves the best. Exactly. But he's here. But that's the thing though. So he gets the best. You're a good dad and husband, and that's what makes me want to procreate with you. It's not fair. Even before I met you, I was not thinking about children. It's your fault. Favorite. It's your fault. <laughs> you're still not convinced, right? I'm not convinced, but how about this, okay guys? Y'all go ahead. Y'all know us. Y'all been watching us for a while. Drop some comments below. I want to see if you can change my mind. Because if it was up to me, we gonna wait a few years. Nobody's gonna change your mind. Guys, you cannot change this guy's mind now. Like, literally, last night, I felt compelled. The power of Christ compelled me. We were lucky that, you know, you were chasing waterfalls, red waterfalls. Honestly, this is, this is zero, this is, let's say 5% chance that I'm pregnant. Yeah. I, I might be pregnant 5%. Like, if that thing lingers in there for a little while, then maybe she can get pregnant, and then maybe in a year from now, we'll be like, oh my gosh, look at little so-and-so. That's like a 5% chance that if I get pregnant. If yeah. the universe really wanted it. Anyways. Since you're still not budging, right? Yeah. I have a little something for you. I thought we were done. No, 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 no. I have a surprise for you, big daddy. What's this, an like Apple TV remote? No. This is a period cramp simulator. Every month you refuse to crack these eggs, I have to go through period pain. So you are going to go through this period pain. But that's by guy's design. That's not my fault. That's what? That's guy's design. Yeah, but I want, that's you, not my fault. I want you to feel what I feel. Why not? I mean... You can handle it, right? This ain't no... Like, a big Dominican Friday. man like you. You're so strong. You hey, can handle this. Hey.
right? Right. Okay. You're so uh, Dominicano strong. And you like a challenge, don't you? But you are my challenge. This one was crazy. Y'all know she's crazy. What's she about to do to me? You hold this. And I gotta hold this? Yeah, for now. Like, I'm gonna put this thing on you in the middle of the night and shock your ass. She'd be dead. <laughs> Shaking. I teach her how to twerk. That's cold. You do a lot of talking, soon you'll be doing a lot of screaming. And you better not get loud because I'm I have sleeping. a fart holding up inside of me. You better not push that fart out with this thing. And you better not yell because I'm just sleeping. This ain't worried about, about him. To scream. If he wakes up, he's your responsibility. You're about to scream. It's your fault. Are you done? Okay. Alright, guys. <laughs> Give me. Give it to me. What? Baby, stop. What are you talking about? I don't know Why what are you scared? Let me start it. Nothing. You're scared of little periods? You're so scared. Are you scared? I'm scared of you, okay? All right, you ready? Yeah, I got this. Level one. Ain't nothing gonna stop me. I'm fine. Level two. Is it doing anything? Because I don't feel anything. Level three. These are period cramps. Woo. Level four. Okay, I feel like a little bit of a zzz coming, but for the most part, that's it. Level five. It Level changed. Six. It's just going. To Level seven. I mean, I feel some. Man, this ain't crap. This is what y'all deal with. This is why y'all crying. Uh, listen, take your This time. is why y'all like. Oh, I need to get off Le of work. Level eight. That's level eight. What's the highest? Level nine. Level nine. Level ten. I feel like a little zinging, but I'm like, I can deal with this my whole day. You know, this is kind of relaxing. It's almost like yeah. I'm getting a like a, a massage. Yeah, see, so it's going. T -t 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 Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing going on here. Like level thirteen. Okay, that one was a little bit stronger, but girl, you're weak. I can handle this. Hey, hey, you know what? He's doing all this talking to cover the pain. Calm down. Breathe. Calm down. Just relax. You're too agitated. Relax. Okay. This is level 13, there are 30 levels. Relax. Really? Yeah, relax. We got all that time. It gets worse than this? It gets worse than this? What worse? I thought it was nothing. You know, I'm just saying, like this is... I upped it to level 17. Okay, calm down with that, alright? Hold on. Don't yell, it's just... Get a little finger away. Get a little finger away. Did you just go three levels? Yes. Oh my god! I think that's not enough. <laughs> what is going on? Okay. Okay. It's releasing. It's releasing. What's it's doing the same with go. Oh no! Stop! You won't force me to wake up! For that reason, he gave it to y'all because y'all the strong so ones. Y'all don't want to go through pregnancy, so y'all strong women. Y'all don't want to go through this in society with men, so y'all strong and women. We, That's why y'all got a period. What we go through this is ten times this, okay? That's why y'all go through it. Exactly. Y'all strong enough to handle it. I don't want to be strong. I feel like my heart elevated. Really? Man, truth into ear. That's shock therapy right there. Why would somebody do that to themselves? <laughs> Do I have a treat of my period? <laughs> <laughs> you know.
We men, Miss Strong. Y'all go through a lot. I do really appreciate women. Seriously, no. What y'all go through every month, it, it is a big deal. And I really appreciate that y'all are able to go through it. But still, don't be taking your frustrations out on me. But yeah, guys, I'm going to wait till Tato is ready. Okay? Ready to... Because we both need to be on the same page when it comes yeah. to having another baby. And to be clear, I do want to expand our family. I just want to make sure we do it at the right time. Yeah. We already have a family. And it, time can sometimes be very, very challenging to yeah, do anything. Yeah, that's true, guys. When you have a second kid, you can't really do things as a family anymore. You have to split your time. But I feel like we can get to a point where we can make it work because I know that my heart is ready anytime, but I'm going to wait for you to feel the same way. Yeah, and yeah. we felt the same way last night. Yeah, it's not as nice. It was, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I'll start in the kitchen. You were having a bad day, and you know, Zaddy just came and cheered you up. Stop. And last night you were like, can I lay on top of you? Maybe. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. We love you guys so much. Thank you for all your support. Like, you guys have done so much and changed our lives and yes. the life of Enzo. And we are so, so, so grateful. We, we hope you guys you. enjoyed this video. If we made you laugh, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, guys. We're on the road to 1 million followers. Thank you so much, guys. Ciao.